Okay, today's video is entitled The Periodic Table and the Isotope Part 2. In today's video, we are going to go over how to solve and answer some simple questions concerning isotopes. In Part 1 of The Periodic Table and Isotopes, I went over what and explained what isotopes are and how to write isotope symbols. Before we go on and actually solve some problems, let's go over and review a quick uh, important terms here. First of all, we have to know what these terms mean, and the first one is atomic number. What is the atomic number? The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. It is some whole number, 1, 2, 10, 20, 92. It's the number of protons. It has to be a whole number. You can only have a whole proton. Mass number. Mass number is a number of protons and the number of neutrons added together that are in the nucleus of an atom. Again, it can only be a whole number, 1, 10, 20, 100, 210, something like that. It's going to be a whole number. You add how many protons and how many neutrons. You add those two together to get the mass number. Now, as I mentioned in part one, the mass number is not the mass of something. It's not the mass of an atom or the mass of a proton. It is the mass number. Protons and neutrons are the things that have mass. That's what we add up to get the mass number. Now, this video is ultimately about isotopes, and therefore we have to know what is an isotope. An isotope, or isotopes, are atoms of the same element that have the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons in their nuclei. So it's atoms of the same element that have different numbers of neutrons in their nuclei. In the previous video, we talked about magnesium. All magnesiums, because magnesium is element number 12, the atomic number for magnesium is number 12, and that means every atom of magnesium has 12 protons in its nucleus, but some of them have different numbers of neutrons. Some have 12 neutrons, some have 13 neutrons, and some have 14 neutrons, even though they're all magnesium and they all have 12 protons in their nuclei. Okay? So, those are the terms you should know. Let's keep those in mind and let's try and answer these questions. Okay, this is about the isotopes of carbon. Now, you can look up. It's not something you get off the periodic table, really. It's not something you memorize. You look up on a table the naturally occurring isotopes of the elements. Okay, and you look up carbon, you'll know there are three, or you'll see there are three isotopes of carbon. And we want to know how many protons, neutrons, electrons are there in the neutral atoms of these naturally occurring isotopes. Okay, the symbol for carbon is C. There are three isotopes, carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14. What is this number? This number, as you remember from the previous video, is the mass number. The mass number is the number of protons and the number of neutrons. Okay, so now if we look at our periodic table, you need to have your periodic table out. If you don't have your periodic table out, get it out now. Pause the video, get out a periodic table. Pause. Okay, now you have your periodic table, find carbon. Carbon is up on the top right-hand side there. It's element number six. That number six is the atomic number. That number six is the number of protons in the nucleus of every carbon atom. Every carbon atom has six protons in its nucleus, regardless of which isotope it is. Now, what about the number of neutrons? This mass number is the number of neutrons plus the number of protons. So this is both together. This is one of those things. That means the remaining part must be the neutrons. 12 together, subtract the protons, and you get that carbon-12 has six protons and six neutrons. Okay. Now, the next one is carbon-13. 13. 6, 13, 13 minus 6, is 7. And then the last one, 14 minus 6, is 8. All you do is you take the mass number, 
subtract from it the atomic number and you get the number of neutrons. Or this number is the number of neutrons and protons. Subtract the number of protons, you get the number of neutrons. Okay, all carbons have six protons. But there's three isotopes and they're different in the sense of how many neutrons they have. Some have six, some have seven, and some have eight. Now, these are neutral atoms. The electrons are positive, the protons are, excuse me, the protons are positive, the electrons are negative. If we want it to be neutral, then they're all going to have six electrons also. Okay? So you should be able to make a little table for like that. If you're given the element, you're given the mass number, you should be, excuse me, yeah, the mass number, you should be able to figure out how many protons, how many neutrons, and how many electrons there are in the neutral atoms of those isotopes. All right, next question. This is, write the isotope symbol for the neutral atom that has 20 protons and 22 neutrons. Now you should remember 20 protons. The number of protons is the atomic number. The number of protons is the element number. Well, num element number 20, if you look on your periodic table, which you have out there in front of you, is calcium. So we know 20 matches calcium. Every calcium has 20. Every element, excuse me, every atom that has 20 protons is calcium. Now, the thing that's missing is the mass number. That's what we write right up here in the upper left. If we want to write the mass number, we, write, we add the number of protons and the number of neutrons. That would be 20 plus 22 is 42. Okay? Now, in the previous video, I showed you that sometimes we put the atomic number down here. I'm not going to do that because it's calcium. We know the atomic number is 20 based on calcium being element number 20. Okay? Now, how many protons and how many neutrons are there in a neutral atom of phosphorus? 31. This is the other way we can write the isotope. The name, this number, is the mass number. So we look on the periodic table, P for phosphorus. We notice that it is element number 15. So therefore, we know there are 15 protons. Okay, and all we're asking for is protons and neutrons we're not asking for the element symbol, but we'll do that also, of course. Now, this number is the mass number. This is the number of protons and neutrons. Well, it has, if it has 31 protons and neutrons added together, 15 of those 31 are protons. The other 16, 15 plus 16 is 31, must be neutrons. Now, if we were to write the, element, the ion symbol, it would be P for phosphorus and 31. See, phosphorus 31, phosphorus 31. Same thing. All right? Now, we got a couple more. Given the isotope symbol, so now we're doing kind of the opposite. We're given the isotope symbol bromine. Bromine is not element 81. This number in the upper left-hand corner is the mass number, protons and neutrons together, we must find bromine on the periodic table. If you find bromine on the periodic table, you will notice that it is element 35. If it's element 35, which is the atomic number, then it must have 35 protons in its nucleus. Now, how many neutrons are there? Well, this number is the mass number, the protons and the neutrons added together. If we want to get the neutrons, all we do is we take the protons and the neutrons added together, subtract out the protons, and you get the neutrons are 46. Let's check. 5 plus 6 is 11, added together 81. Those two numbers added together, the number of the protons and the number of the neutrons, has to equal 81, or the mass number. Okay, last one. Given the isotope symbol below, how many protons and neutrons are there? Well, let's see. Um, this is K in German. This is kalium. In English, we say potassium. And we look on the periodic table. We find element K. We find potassium on the periodic table. And you'll notice it's element 19. 
That's its atomic number. That's the number of protons in the nucleus, number 19. Now, how many neutrons are there? Well, let's look and see. This is the mass number. This is the protons plus the neutrons. If this is the number of protons, then the number of neutrons must be 22, and we can check that. 9 plus 2 is, is 1, carry the 1, you get 41 altogether. Okay? So those are some basic problems, and you should be able to, given the element, excuse me, given the isotope symbol, you should be able to figure out how many protons, neutrons, and electrons there are. Okay? And if you're given the number of protons and neutrons and electrons, then you should be able to add and make those together and come up with the isotope symbol. All right? So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. Once again, if you did find that helpful, you can give me a nice thumbs up or a nice comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.